Scott Brown here. Gaston's back in town. So this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can build your online presence, your website, and they've got a bunch of online tools as well. But we'll talk a bit more about that later. Enjoy the tools. First of all, how, how are you? How's life? There you go. I'm just uh, talking to this uh, fluffy thing. It makes me uh, <laughs> imagine the comments. I can't wait for it. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Is that what I think it is? is that yeah, a... it's a handsaw. You got a handsaw zip. That's amazing. This is a wrench, like a spanner, sorry. <laughs> so, what was that? Then it was uh, another. Ah, pliers. Some of the new products from Haigoki, uh, they have been in the market for a few months already. They are becoming quite popular, but the beauty about this one is uh, this is the first cordless router in the world. Half inch planche um, router, but cordless. It's nothing like this. They come with different collets. So the collet is a nut with a sleeve that actually grabs your router bit. So you have this spinning at 25,000 revs. Ooh. It has to be, you know, holding it properly. Yeah. This is why I quite like for uh, finishing work, um, the bigger the shank, the less chances of um, shattering. Yeah. To me, I was just playing around with other trimmers and what I like about this is uh, it's one hand operation. The safety trigger there, you turn on the LED lights, the trigger is at the front. So with your thumb and your index, you can actually control everything. And then you can yeah. turn it on. And also I can control the speed. Yeah. So one hand. All on one hand. All on one hand. And then if you are left-handed, you can undo this, take it off. Got. Ooh. And then left-handed. I so far I haven't seen the other trimmers with that. Uh, this comes with a booklet. <laughs> this comes with a booklet. Things, yeah. The tools they come with instructions. Even when you buy um, you know router bits. You know we don't read them. Yeah, Gaston. but yeah, we need to read them. <laughs> Probably that will be actually the, the question today for the giveaway. So people need to answer it properly. Hopefully okay. that will change something. So this is the AC adapter. So if you need constant juice, it's like a juice fountain. Um, this is, uh, this is uh, the way to go. So, so you can put that in there. You got, so you got plenty of cable. So you plug that into the, into the wall. That's it. Imagine if you're routing uh, a big piece. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the battery starts um, you know, slowing down and you don't want it. And you're just finished doing the last pass. Yeah, wouldn't um, someone just say, oh, why don't you just get it corded? Because then there comes a situation that actually you want to just, uh, you are either in a, in a site that has no power or you need to get into up in the, in the, in the side, in the building side on a really tricky uh, place that you want to have a free cable free tool. Yeah. So this gives you the other option. So, so you I can go to battery, but also I got the cord. You got the variety. So I got the cord, I can't go to battery. <laughs> So it's a competition throwing axe, um, so you can compete with this one. It's hand forged in Sweden by Grand Forge Brook. So when I get them from Sweden, they always come baptized with a name. So this one is Olga. So you know, it's, uh, we sold quite a few over the years. Uh, it's not like we sell thousands because they're quite expensive. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So this one is always, I got a place in my office with a um, special hooks. So I hang in the next one. A couple of times I've been stopped by the police, just a normal check and they see all the, all the gear in the truck and they ask me, what are you using that for? <laughs> it's like, oh, well, uh, in the ferry as well. All the boys get really excited when I drive into the ferry. Oh, really? they, yeah, they, they know the track already, so they can uh, see that I come with a lot of uh, weapons. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. Is this for your business card? Yes. So we are bringing this as an example. This one's um, with the insert for the screwdriver bits. Yep. So that, and then you can actually pile them up. So one another sticks it to another one. So as you can see, this is actually... Oh, yeah, so this is like an actual tool thing? Yeah. Yeah, you can put your business cards, but also you can use it for... Um, so I'm going to bring this similar one or the new updated version of the baby one with the insert for your screwdriver bits. And then they fit into the mini sustainer. It is another one, but it's a bit bigger that mm -hmm. you can use as a lunchbox or you can actually put these boxes. So you can pile this up. So I got more of this in my office. So I, I have all of them sitting up because you can lock them one with other with the, 
with a T-lock. <laughs> so you can see it's fully functional. People just keep telling me to get one of these. Yes. I have. In the comments, they mention these. People are wise. <laughs> People are wise. A lot of the tools we offer um, yeah. is, I love tools, but I listen. Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, I, um, and I have a very understanding wife. Oh, that's, um, that's nice. And um, I listen to uh, everyone because uh, we get a lot of suggestions and a lot of the tools that we have in the range, they were just actually suggestions from customers. All right, so if you're looking for that square, uh, I know there's a lot of squares in the world. Everyone is making squares. Yeah. Uh, this is the one that definitely I was chasing for a while. The most important thing about this square, when you get it, is to anything when you move on slide or you want to move the ruler around, you need to release the lock. Don't do it when it's locked. Mm. Just release the lock. And most of all, it comes with a book. You need to read the book. It's a nice, it looks like a comic. Yeah, you need to read the book. They took a time to make this and then you can get the most of the, of the square. That's the standard one and this is the Pro. That's exactly the same, just a different material, obviously. Our thinnest saw ever comes in a really very nice uh, box. Yeah, that's very nice. Very uh, From Gyokucho. I, I call it paper steel. It comes with a beautiful handle. Um, that's 0 0.15 mils. We never had something thin on that. Oh, that's paper no steel. That is ridiculous. So, what, what would you use this for? Very fine woodwork, very fine joinery. Oh my god. There you go. Oh, yeah, it's so light. Yeah. It just disappears. Mm. <laughs> This is a set of saws that I was uh, looking at for, for, for a long time at getting into New Zealand. They are, um, they are made by hand. Juntaro Mitsukawa, it's a family. It comes in a box and then inside the box you get this uh, roll. It's a cotton canvas. And you have five hand saws. So every saw is different for a different purpose. We have a cross cut, ripping, slant cut when you cut on angles. Then got a flush cut saw, and that's a, a small keyhole saw. The, um, the saws from Gyokucho that we, um, we, we sell in New Zealand, they, they are very good as well, they're quite flexible. You need to obviously look after them, but these saws, they are tempered, fully tempered, and they flex a tiny bit, but not as much, so you mm. will snap them. This is not for the, for the first time user on Japanese saws. That's uh, it's a, it's a beautiful set. So it's so light. Like, them as well in there. It's hard to point out how light they are, right? Mm. They're so light, they feel like a pencil almost. <laughs> so this is actually Kill Bill 1. Kill Bill 1. Yeah, my Kill Bill, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so okay. this is a Kill Bill 1. So good, it's an all-rounder, you know. That's massive. Yeah, for the garden. So that's uh, Kill Bill 1. <clears throat> yeah. like Kill Bill 2. Yeah. So it's a 650. Oh my god. And this is the one that you know. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, again, same feature. Stops in there. And then, hands away. And then lock it. So is this for pruning branches, things like that? High reaching, show off. Um, <laughs> cut the twigs in the garden, you know. Just uh, roses. <laughs> yeah, and this is Kill Bill 2. Kill Bill 2. Yeah. Right. It's Kill Bill 3. Woo! So this is Come on, a, Tarantino, make the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Katana Boy one meter. Oh my God. Okay, so, so let's see if people have been touching us, so fingerprints everywhere, fingerprints of the whole country were not there. So, Stand back a bit just to <coughs> take this all in. Time I open this, I look very tiny. <laughs> uh, imagine the faces of the guys. So, so the, uh, yeah, uh, this is right there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep so going. Cutting has, Cody trees. Yeah, it has to, yeah, it has to lock. That's it. Is that it? Is yep. it locked? Yep. It's pretty big. It's big. She's beautiful. This is a kind of tool like Olga, you know, the double-sided axe. When you show, um, it's like that. some some people they they might say, "Oh, I don't need it, but I want it." Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can see why people would. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. The, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> Yeah, that is a gigantic saw. Okay, so high reach. So if you don't like your neighbor, 
Yeah. You can, you know, <laughs> go at night. That's another event. No, no sound. It's like a ninja. Last time we showed the planche saw, the rail saw, the corded version. I've been asked, can you get the battery version? So we got the battery version. Oh. In Germany, they don't call them, they don't use the term bear tool or skin. They don't understand it. So they, when you get a tool without the batteries, you call it in the pure. So, yeah. Pure? Pure. The pure tool. Yeah, let's get some so, sort of a naked. So, uh, <laughs> battery one in the pure. <laughs> In the pure. In the pure. The, that's uh, the rail saw. To replace the blade, all you do is open that. And yeah, it's already nice. locked, so I can grab my Allen key supplied, take the blade away. Also, got like uh, the rubber strips there, so all these keeps the dust. They've mm. got a really good um, um, performance in terms of the dust extraction. And then, if you are working on top of the rail, depth indicator goes that, that way. Yeah, Without cool. the rail, this way. Again, you can go up to 48 degrees. Yeah. And you can go down to minus one. And um, you can use it obviously on the Makita or the face tool rail. So you can take this off and sit in there and you can actually adjust and take the free play. MT55 in the pure. In the pure. <laughs> in the pure. Yeah. The manuals. No, oh, well, very important. Look. Obviously, come in different languages. It's not like you don't have to read 100 pages, but you need to read. I got a them. question. Do you read Espanol or do you read uh, English when you're doing uh, manuals? Uh, English, English, believe it or not. So, this is a KSS uh, 50, um, 18 volts. Um, manual. <laughs> Books. Yeah, very important. Dust back. So when you detach this from the, from the tool to avoid um, dropping the dust, dust everywhere. In, everywhere, you can actually put this in there. Ah, one of those. Yeah, one of these. <clears throat> That's like the HK... From face tool. Yeah. Yeah. And then to take it off. Ah. And then it's just a normal circle. <clears throat> yeah. Here, so you, these are your stops. I got it at the moment on zero. In the, the table, rubber, totally replaceable, especially when you make your first cut, you will trim a tiny bit of the, of the rubber. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm gonna do this. If I want to do a 45, then I can go to 45, so they are preset already as well. And there, um, I can unlock the lever and I can actually set Whoa. the depth. This saw sort of demonstrates something that I wish all circular saws had. Number one is that method of depth adjustment. It's not so much the lever, it's more that I am controlling the height by moving something. Usually circular saws, you loosen a bolt and then you have to hold the base and then you have to move it yourself. It's not like it's hard or anything, but this, it's like a micro adjustment. This is so much better. And then the other thing that I wish all circular saws had was this little button here. So most circular saws have a little lever there and you grab the little lever and you lift it up as you get the cut started. But this is so much safer, right? Your hand's there, the blade's over there, and you just go like that. I wish all circular saws had that. This is the first time I've seen this one. But <laughs> How much is it just for the saw? Two batteries, yeah. 18 volts, 5.5 amps. Yeah. And also a charger. <laughs> yeah. In the box, the metal box, that's around $3,000. Three thousand and ninety-three, I think. Yeah, they will be on the website. We haven't put it on the. Web. So here inside, I have a, a saw, but also a one-point-four meter rail. Inside the box. Inside the box, one-point-four meter rail. So this is a KSP forty. My friend Martin from uh, from Christchurch reckons that this is a Lionel Messi, like the soccer player of the saws, <laughs> in terms of the system. Um, it's an absolutely amazing compact system. So what do you get in the box? <laughs> Holy crap. So that is a 1.4 meter rail. Yes. So this is a, what, what I call a shadow gap saw. Um, so you can cut, make cuts flush against the, let's say against the wall and the ceiling, if you've got a wooden ceiling. Yeah. Um, starting from 13 mils. We've got the same system, leverage system that you like on the, on the other saw. On yeah. the other saw. Oh yeah, that's cool. I love that all of this is in that box. And also... You're like a magician. So this is a... 
the rail that comes with that. that is it's all rubber. So at the end, you can have the, because the saw is sitting this way. Yeah. All right, that's your rubber strip. So all the cable and the hose goes through there so they, it doesn't get damaged. So it stays on track. Yeah. So there's no way you're gonna actually come off the track. And it just goes. So it just fits in there. Clip. Mm -hmm. Roll it here. And fits in there. Oh, guess what is in there? <laughs> the manual! <laughs> you need to read the manual. All right, it's uh, giveaway time. Um, unfortunately, this was only for New Zealand. Uh, his fault, not mine. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so we'll, we'll do it through Instagram, but first we'll have a look at what you're... Yeah, um, so one of the last news we got a few weeks ago is after so much work and hard work, with, uh, especially with Pika, as you can see, I always carry them with me. We are becoming a New Zealand exclusive um, distributor for Pika. It seems it's uh, probably one of our biggest sellers, one of them. So because of that, we want to um, give uh, away uh, one of the master sets. So the Pika master set comes in three options. This is actually, I think it's called the joiners. The reason I am offering this one right now is because I, it's the only one I got left. <laughs> Sorry. And I put it away, actually. That's one. Awesome. So Pika and then uh, Collins, for those that actually don't know, these are mitre clamps. Yeah. They come in packs of 12. You got a precision, you can open them quite easily. Yeah. Um, if you want to do it by hand, you can, but after the number four, you, your hand will be very tired. Again, so this can, is for architraves and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, for architraves, holding, holding the facings uh, of, you know, the corners of the house, anything that actually got like a, like a miter joint that you want to hold. And then the other one is two, I'm showing one, but two wedges. Oh, yeah. These are great. So from two mils up to 70 mils, again, super popular in New Zealand. Um, I, I actually get a lot of questions about this <coughs> here. This is what I use for hanging doors. So you put it under the door and then you can put your foot on this and pump it up. So yeah, we just, so we be two of them because you need to. So, um, two of them. I need to buy another one of you. I've only got one. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Only one? Okay. Only one. We can sort that out. We're going to do a giveaway and it will be on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, head on over there, but we'll put it on the Piranha Tools Instagram. I'll chuck that here somewhere. And what, what's the hint, Gaston? What's the, what's the question, rather? The question is every time you buy a power tool or a hand tool, what you should do straight after you open the, the package, the packaging? <laughs> the manual! You need to read the manual. Yeah, Safety-wise, and to get the most of the tool and to, you know, uh, for the tool to last yeah. forever. <laughs> There's been a few hints in this video, I think. Mm. Yeah. Uh, along the way. Yeah. And, and it, so there'll be three winners, unfortunately, New Zealand only. Do you want to include Australia in this? You want to include Australia? Do you want to include Australia? Yeah, why They're not? having a tough time as well at the moment. With them. I mean, that the whole world true. is having a tough yeah. time. Okay, we'll include Australia as well. Australia as well, all right. Just Australia, go. sorry, um, rest of the world, but yeah, yeah. awesome. Absolutely Thank you. awesome. Thank you Thanks for much. watching this exciting episode. Today's sponsor is Squarespace. Basically, if you are a business or you're self-employed, you need a website. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help you build your online presence and run your business. So they have um, professional portfolio designs where you can showcase your work and they've also got customizable galleries that we use to show all the building work that we've done. And having a beautiful website has been key in promoting our business and getting new clients. The images automatically scale to fit the website and if you have art or a product to sell, Squarespace have a point of sale system. And Squarespace have a free trial so you have nothing to lose. So give it a go and when you're ready to launch your website go to squarespace.com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you Squarespace and thank you for watching this exciting episode. Catch you in the next one.